I'm Anil Kumar. We are actually exploring how to solve exponential equations in E and natural log. Now in this particular example, we need to solve each of the following and we have to write the answer in nearest tenth. First question is ln x equals to 3. Then we have ln 2x equals to 3. ln x square equals to 2. So we'll use the properties of logarithms which we have learned. ln is log to the base of E, right? So ln x equals to 3. How to solve it? What we know is ln of E is 1, right? So these are kind of inverse of one another. And if I say E to the power of ln x, it is equals to x. So these are the properties which we are going to use to solve all these equations, right? So what we have here is we have ln x equals to 3. Now base is E. So I can write this in exponential form, correct? So in exponential form, I get x is equals to e to the power of 3. Now I can use calculator and find the answer. Let's do the next one. ln 2x equals to 3. So, so let me write the question first, ln 2x equals to 3. So we get 2x equals to e to the power of 3 or x is equals to half of e to the power of 3, right? So this answer will be half of that answer. Now in this particular case, it is x squared, right? So in this particular case, we have ln x squared equals to 2. Note that domain in this case, x could be negative also, since square can make it positive. So in this particular case, we have x squared equals to e squared, right? Now, so what is x equals to? So x is equals to square root of e square. Do you get the idea? Now, so if I have this particular value and I am square rooting, I can take both positive and negative value, correct? So basically it is plus and minus e, right? So this answer is plus and minus e, correct? So that is the answer which you get. Now let us use the calculator and find all the answers. So you'll notice that e is second function here. So you'll use second function e to the power of 3 in the first case and you get your answer as 20.085. 20.085. I'm just rounding it to 10th place so it is 20.1 for us. Now in this case, second case, it is half of this, right? So we could write this as x equals to so in this case, we'll just do times 0.5, right? So we get half of that, which is 10.04. So let me write this rounding to one decimal place as 10.0. Now here, as you can see, it is just E, right? So what is E? So E, let me write to the power of 1, and then you get 2.7182. So I could write this as plus or minus. 2.7 rounded to one decimal place correct so that is how you can actually answer this particular question i hope that helps and all the best